Mr. Lecter? Ah, Clarice. That's so sweet. I see you've met our Mr. Meeks. He's been as charming as ever. Yes, sir. And he still doesn't know how to open a carton of milk. <laughs> Mr. Lecter, I want to talk to you about... Chanel number five, if I'm not mistaken. I hope you enjoyed your Indian meal last night, Clary. Chicken madras, onion bhaji, all washed down with a nice Chianti. <laughs> Mr. Lecter, you know, you could really help me. Mm, but what do I get, Clarice? You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Quid pro quo, Clarice. Quid pro quo. What do you want? I want a room. A room with a view by E.M. Forster in hardback. I can arrange that. Trust me. Now, will you help me? Will you look at the file? Clarice, you may be vocally capable of a mediocre impersonation of Elvis Presley. Uh-huh. <laughs> but don't push your luck. You come here with your good handbag and your cheap shoes, your American tan pantyhose, and your liberty bodice made from 100% lamb's wool. The lamb's wool, Clarice. Does it still itch when you lie in bed late at night? Can you still feel it itching? Let's have a look at your file, Clarice. My, my, my. I must warn you, Clarice. If I help you, you're going to have to pay quid pro quo. Clarice, do you know what I do to people? I put them through unspeakable pain, and then I skin them alive. I'm willing to take that chance. Very well. I'll see what I can do. No promises. Oh, and Clarice. Yes, Mr. Lecter? If you miss one payment, I'll repossess your house. <laughs> 